right. So uh, last year, I was the opportunity to go out and see Shakespeare in the Park for the first time ever. You know, hear about in New York City and Central Park, they have it. But we have it here in Nashville. We have it out in Old Hickory because the Lakewood Theater Company does a great job putting it together. Let's welcome him, uh, Matt, Mog- Matt Bogan with the Lakewood Theater Company this morning. Matt, how are you, pal? Doing fantastic. Uh, I've learned one thing already this morning, which is I shouldn't have cast Scotty Pippen Jr. as Hamlet and put him in a Batman costume. Thanks for letting <laughs> me know that. I'll work on that. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. All right, let's talk about Shakespeare in the Park. Uh, it is As You Like It is the name of the play. And I tell you what, Matt, I, I just love this. Love being outside. I love what you guys are doing uh it's a lot of fun is it a i know it's a different dynamic being inside the outside but what's the charm of being outside doing this oh my gosh it's it's an entirely different experience because if you're sitting in a room with other people okay whatever it's fine but when when you're outdoors you you gotta think about the actors two thousand years ago in the greek islands and they're outside under under the sky under the stars the fresh air coming in it's an entirely different experience because there's nothing between you and the heavens you think in shakespeare how everyone you know these great dramatic actors and moments and you know imploring the gods to do things and here you are here we are two thousand years later you know we're we're doing the same thing um you 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 get weather challenges you know uh, like last year we had to cancel a couple of performances unfortunately because of, of either heat or rain or we've kind of built in a few extra shows this year to, to mitigate that. So along with the usual evening performances, we're doing some Saturday matinees. So should be plenty of opportunities to come out and experience theater in the raw. Now, I, last year when you guys did, you talk about the weather and the problems, things you can't control that go on. But I think that makes kind of the allure of all that, Matt, is the fact that it's outside. You t- can, the weather's a little unpredictable. It could be really hot. It could be sprinkling. But the show, for the most part, still must go on, correct? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the only reason we wouldn't do it is if it's absolutely pouring rain. You know, we had a show last year that was that was actually a little chilly, but our audience stuck with it. You know, it's that, that that's part of the fun is that you and the actors are are experiencing the same thing at the same time, and you can have kind of a shared chuckle about that too, depending on their circumstances. So you're directing the play. I am. So during a play like this, when it's outside, where are you? Um, the, well, during during the rehearsals, you know, I'm out uh, outside watching everything, making changes. During the performance itself, um, like last year, I generally sat in the audience myself because uh, I was kind of emceeing the thing, giving a, a welcoming the audience, letting people know that it was intermission and where to go for restrooms. So I'll 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 I'll, keep, I'll be keeping one eye on the show and then you know uh, one eye on my phone in case the stage manager texts me and says you know hey we've got a problem. Luckily, it didn't happen last year, but you never know. Good. What also too, again, I'm a big fan of all this uh, theater and acting because your actors are our neighbors. I mean, there's the ones who work at the bank down the street. I mean, that you see at church, you see in the grocery store, this is all community, all local. And I, that's what I love about this, Matt. It's a, it's a wide range. I've got, I've got an actor who's never been on stage before in this show. It's picked up the Shakespeare really quickly. I've got some folks that are that are going to blow you away, Joe, when you come see this. They're unbelievable. Um, the, you know, especially our lead actress, uh, Crystal Couric, who's playing Rosalind. Rosalind is one of the one of the greatest female characters in all of Shakespeare, and she utterly nails this role. I, I can't wait for people to come see her. How when you talk about Shakespeare, because you mentioned Shakespeare, it's like, oh, we get all excited. He's got so many different plays and so many things that he's written. And you go back and you see all the great actors who've done Hamlet and Macbeth and all things that go on like that. I think that makes it kind of fun because when you see a play like this, as you like it, I don't know much about this play. And that's why I like this, because it to me, as a novice theater guy, this is kind of off the beaten path of a Shakespeare play. That's why I'm anxious to see this, because I think it'd be a lot of fun, something I've never seen before. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know, Shakespeare is known for really two big things. You're known for the tragedies. Everyone knows those tragedies. Uh, but the comedies are just as uh, popular in, in his time. And it's so much fun to explore them in this day and age. Yeah, Matt, what is, give me your background as far as acting goes and directing. I uh, I never was interested in theater very much until I got to college, um, you know, and then there was a really cute girl that I liked and she was taking an acting class. I'm like, oh, gee, I, I could do that, too. Uh, and I got an A in the class. But, but what was more important, I had an amazing actor. Uh, his name is Stephen Henderson. In fact, if you saw the uh, the movie Dune last year, he was in that. Uh, and he, he 
it was like I, the first day of class, he just reached into my soul and flicked a switch. And it's like, it wasn't about acting and, and, you know, and being famous. It was about the collaboration. It was about the work. It was about the truth and, and understanding things. And to me, that just resonated so much. And through, so all, all these years later, I, you know, I still love to do theater to bring out the best in people. If I'm directing, uh, to explore these words, to explore these situations and having fun with it, you know, so, uh, you know, I, uh, took time off from college, did a lot of community theater, went back to college, did some college theater, uh, met my wife on stage. Uh, and, and so theater's always been a, a part of my life in, 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 in so many different capacities. So I've, I've, I think this will be my 60th show altogether. It's Ooh. probably too many. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. How long did you guys, have you guys been rehearsing for this? Uh, we auditioned in mid February and, uh, started it and started really rehearsing at the, the very beginning of March. So, uh, we're looking up about seven weeks, eight weeks. And that's great because you, I mean, again, you get yeah, work around people's schedules. It's all going at night. I, I assume that people are rehearsing at night. There's a lot that, that people pour into this, isn't there? Oh my gosh. Amazing amounts of time. You know, we're, just because we have rehearsal Monday through Thursday doesn't mean that everyone has to be called. I'm very you know, considerate of people's time. Um, but that's, that's just the actor spending time at home, uh, annoying their loved ones in the house, <laughs> not in Shakespeare. <laughs> the dog has no idea what you're doing. Um, but then also the backstage, our, our customer, we, we, we've got to, you know, you remember last year, our costumes looked so good. You yep. know, we, we, we've upped the ante this year and we had our first costume rehearsal last night. Just unbelievable the amount of work that this person uh, jennifer corbett put in uh, over the these past two weeks to make us look as best as possible you know we're outdoors we don't have fancy sets we're right. uh, you know we're, we're, we're outdoors in old hickory and uh, and to me i what i told her was we need to have the actors look as good as possible and she has absolutely delivered but that's literally dozens and dozens of hours over the past just the two weeks well our producer, again, I... our, our tech people all that stuff yeah, what I love about it, this is all organic. I mean, it's just like you talk about the actors or all our neighbors. I mean, you talk about the set outside. It's not elaborate set you'd see on Broadway, but it works, man. It works perfectly in this setting and the job you guys do. I thought last year was was fantastic. I just thought it was so cool to have this right down the street from my house, Shakespeare in the Park, and you guys just do a bang up job. It was really well done, and I expect the same this year. We're going to give it to you. <laughs> Good. When does the play start? We open this Friday. Uh, we got the 7:30 show on fr this coming Friday, the 22nd. Uh, Saturdays at two o'clock and 7:30, and Sundays at two o'clock. And it keeps rolling. It's for a few more weeks, correct? And it's uh, three weekends total. So uh, May 8th is your last chance to come see us. And there's a website right there, Lakewood Theater. Matt Bogan, Matt, thank you for this. We'll continue promoting you and getting the good word about all the great things you guys are doing at the theater, man. I really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Joe. Great talking to you. All right, that's Matt Bogan, Lakewood Theater Company, Shakespeare in the Park. There's the website. Check them out, and you can see what, what's going on there and all the great plays they've got going on.